I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Stephanie Culler. She is co-founder and CEO at Persephone Biosciences. It's wonderful to see you, Stephanie. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now, before we get started, quick note to viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, Stephanie, I'm dying to know about it. Tell me about the company. Persephone Biosciences is a synthetic biology company based in San Diego, California. And we develop what we call sustainable medicines. These are medicines that we make with synthetic biology, and they're made by fermentation in a, a carbon neutral fashion. We develop medicines that target the gut microbiome, which are the microbes that line our GI tract and serve to promote normal immune function to prevent and fight disease. We focus specifically on repairing damaged microbiomes, which have been linked with cancer, a variety of diseases, including diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and many more. And we also look at microbiomes that impact how well therapeutics work. And so our main focus has been historically on how the microbiome impacts the latest cancer drugs. Immunotherapy drugs like Keytruda are very much impacted by how the microbiome works and the kinds of bacteria that are there. And so our focus is to repair the damaged microbiome such that patients can respond much more effectively to, to these groundbreaking drugs. Um, we do this through a technology platform um, and efforts called Poop for the Cure, where we can collect thousands of poop samples, essentially, from cancer patients and healthy individuals. And looking at poop is actually how we understand how the microbiome works, so that we can develop medicines that are composed of gut bacteria to repair that damage. And so our goal right now is with our oncology program to be in the clinic in 2024 to, uh, with our medicines that repair the microbiomes of these advanced stage cancer patients. Okay, so Stephanie, why the microbiome? I would say three major reasons. Um, one, the microbiome is associated with virtually every disease that we know of. It impacts the efficacy of over 50 FDA approved drugs and actually impacts our health before we're even born. And this is backed by thousands of scientific publications. A second reason, and this is something I didn't even appreciate till I became a scientist, 80% of our immune cells are in our gut. 80%, and so the kinds of bacteria that we have have a tremendous impact on our immune system, how it works, and our overall health. And then finally, um, expertise. Myself, my co-founder, the team at Persephone are experts in how bacteria function, their metabolism essentially, how to manufacture them via fermentation, but also how to manipulate them through synthetic biology. We also have commercial success in developing microbe-based products. Okay, so this is fascinating. So now you're telling me that the next step in Poop for the Cure is actually dirty diapers? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to share that today we launched My Baby Biome, mm -hmm. which is the largest study to profile the microbiomes of infants nationwide. Um, we're looking at the poop of these babies because we're interested in understanding how does the microbiome impact the infant's maturing immune system, but also um, health outcomes like food allergies, asthma, and other disorders that can impact an infant's life um, th throughout as they grow up. Um, and this is a problem that I'm extremely passionate about as a mother of a one-year-old baby girl and as a scientist. It turns out that most babies today are born without the right microbes to train their immune system, to allow it to develop properly. And it's this reason that why we think we have such a substantial increase in food allergies. And this all goes down to the fact that babies today um, in Western countries are born via C-section, the antibiotics use, um, poor maternal diet and formula usage has really impacted and has caused damage in the microbiomes of these infants. So if we're asking pa par um, parents nationwide, if you have an infant under the age of two months, um, that please participate in our study. It's a simple stool collection. Um, in, in, in return for the donation from, uh, from the baby, you'll get $20, uh, Poop for the Cure t-shirt and baby onesie, <laughs> and you'll be donating to important research um, that we will actually turn um, and develop a product next year, commercial, over the counter that any baby can receive to help them you know, lead a really healthy life um, for the rest of their life, essentially. Yeah. All right. Well, this is very wonderful work that you're doing. You'll have to come back and tell us how things are progressing. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk.